How do you create a living space that not only reflects, but also inspires creativity? Today we're going to examine the relationship between personal identity and interior design. We'll explore four key personality traits of creative people and see how they can be reflected and nurtured through thoughtful home design. Whether you're a seasoned creative or just starting to embrace your artistic side, this video is packed with inspiring ideas to help you mold your home into a space that fuels your creativity and passion. Curiosity. The first personality trait of creative people is curiosity. This trait acts as the ignition for imagination, sparking an eagerness to explore and learn. Consider the Renaissance genius Leonardo da Vinci, whose curiosity led him to excel in art, science, and engineering. His notebooks filled with innovative ideas from anatomy to early aircraft concepts exemplify this relentless curiosity. This thirst for knowledge and experiences that creative people feel comes with a propensity to collect things and put them on display in their homes. And here, I'd like to talk about the three things you are most likely to discover in the home of a creative person. Number one, inspirational objects. These are items that, for whatever reason, spark the desire to create. This might be items collected on trips, or a novel that inspires someone to write, a comic book that might inspire someone to draw, or a simple oil painting found in an antique shop that urges someone to paint. Natural elements like uh, flowers, shells, or rocks can kindle the creative flame. These objects, though seemingly unrelated, share the ability to stir the creative spirit. Number two, creativity tools. Creatives often showcase their tools. This is both for practicality because they're in easy reach, but also as a form of identity expression. What you'll see are guitars hanging on the walls, neatly arranged paintbrushes or tools, or a proudly displayed camera collection. Number three, manifestations of creativity. Finally, the home of a creative person often houses their own or other people's works of art. While some may hide their creativity, others display their works of art as a testament to their creative journey. They also appreciate the artistic talent of other people. From architectural models and hanging art to crafted household items, these pieces often become the focal point for stories of creative exploration. Curiosity fuels the desire to surround yourself with objects of beauty, which in return nudge you to create something beautiful. Nonconformity. Creative minds often distinguish themselves through nonconformity, embracing unique paths and perspectives. This inclination to defy norms and conventions not only influences their work, but also extends to their living spaces. For example, the fashion designer Pierre Cardin commissioned a home in Cannes called the Bubble Palace, in which you cannot find a single straight line. And Salvador Dali had a custom-made lipshade sofa and a lobster telephone combining practical use with his surreal artistic vision. The decor reflecting the non-conformity of the creative comes in all shapes and sizes, ranging from a couple of unconventional items to an entire oddly shaped house. But if you wish to explore your own unconventional side, here are a couple of things you can try. Number one, bold color choices. Many people are afraid, and for good reason, to use strong colors in their home design. But experimenting with unexpected color pairings or vibrant accents can bring an element of surprise to your space. Number two, you can use storytelling furniture. Unconventional pieces placed in high visibility spots can spark conversation and intrigue. This can be a vintage chair in a modern fabric, a curiously painted wardrobe, or a coffee table made from reclaimed materials. Number three, DIY personalization. Engage in DIY projects to add a unique personal touch. A hand-painted mural or a custom-built piece of furniture can transform your space into a reflection of your individuality. Remember, nonconformity in interior design is less about following trends and more about creating a space that resonates with your personal creative journey. And it should, first and foremost, be something that you enjoy looking at and feeling represented by. 
However, these ideas often spark enough curiosity in the wider public to generate trends and then the creative process starts anew. Flexibility Flexibility is a vital attribute for creatives, fueling their ability to adapt to new constraints. This mental agility allows them to gracefully navigate the often unpredictable journey of creativity. This flexibility of mind is often reflected by space flexibility, and here I want to talk about transformative furniture. This refers to furniture pieces designed to change shape or function to adapt to different needs or spaces. These versatile items can serve multiple purposes, making them ideal for small living spaces or multifunctional rooms. Besides transformative furniture, what you will also see is furniture that fulfills multiple functions. The examples can be many, but what you will most likely see in creative spaces are simple but very practical ideas. This can be stackable storage boxes that can be used for all kinds of items, but can also be placed in many different rooms. Or you can add wheels to boxes and then you can have an element that stores things that it can be used as a chair or a table and you can push to move around with you. How cool is that? Simple but highly powerful ideas like this will always show up in creative homes and workspaces. There's even some scientific evidence showing that flexible furniture supports creativity. The study The Architecture of Creativity Towards a Causal Theory of Creative Workspace Design by the University of Dessau in Germany suggests that adaptable and dynamic spaces can foster creativity by supporting different working styles and encouraging new perspectives. In summary, flexibility in creative spaces can be a physical extension of the mental flexibility of a creative person. It's a testament to their belief in the fluidity of ideas and the importance of an environment that can adapt and transform in tandem with their creative impulses. Sensitivity Sensitivity is a characteristic that profoundly influences both the work and the living environments of creative people. This heightened awareness allows creatives to experience the world more intensely, deeply affecting their emotional and artistic expressions. One of the elements that creatives are sensitive to is light because light has the power to affect emotion. Bright natural light can elevate energy levels and enhance happiness, while poor lighting can contribute to discomfort and even depression. The sensitivity to light is not just a preference, it's an essential component of a creative's well-being. This is why customizing the lighting conditions according to individual needs and the nature of the creative task is very important, and in order to do that, you will need a combination of ambient, task and accent lighting. This layered approach allows creatives to modify their environment to suit different activities and moods. This sensitivity can extend to other environmental preferences, like a desire for minimalism as some people might feel overstimulated by their environment, or a meticulously organized space which can give a sense of calm and control. Each element in a creative surrounding is carefully chosen to resonate with their sensitivities, ultimately fostering a nurturing atmosphere for creativity and well-being. In essence, understanding and catering to these sensitivities in a creative space is not just about aesthetic appeal, it's about creating an environment that harmonizes with the creative's inner world, enhancing their mood, health and artistic output. So curiosity, non-conformity, flexibility and sensitivity are some important features of creative people and the spaces they live in can enhance those aspects of their identity. So I'm curious, what element in your environment reflects your creative identity? Let me know in the comments and if you wish to learn more about the relationship between space and creativity, you might like my video Home Office Interior Design for more creativity.